Yes, uh, Perus. Good evening, Doc. I just want to ask you. I don't wait a minute. I don't wait, wait a minute, sir. Your name is Perus. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Doc, I just wanted to ask you. Man. I enjoy. I enjoy this life so much, man. Mm. But my daughter was diagnosed with alopecia. It was first alopecia areata. Then it went over to total so, so, so now she's completely bored. Is there any advice on how to grow the hair back or what? What do you what do you think alopecia is? It's a hair loss condition. That that is what they said. That is what they told us. What did they tell you the hair loss is being caused by? They didn't tell us. Why? What, why? What, what did you the, did you ask? They, 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 with that, we even, you know, we went uh, to the child, Grotesky uh, Hospital, they gave us that cream to put on, but nothing. Where are you talking to us from? Uh, South Africa. Okay. How old is your daughter? Uh, she's 16 years old. 16 years? Yes. How old is your daughter? Oh, please, please turn off, please turn off the, is it the TV or something? I don't want to hear the echo. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm turning it off now. Yes, I turned it off. Uh, good. Uh, what, when when you first noticed her hair loss, what age was she? Uh, eight eight years old. Okay, and now she's bald. Yes. Okay. What? Tell me about her cooking oil. What do you use for cooking? Uh, the seed oils. Hmm. How long have you been on my platforms? No, I've been long here, but I'm using, I'm carnivore, so I'm using a uh, butter. No, I'm asking, butter. About, I'm asking about your daughter. It's not you who, who doesn't have hair, it's your daughter, right? It's my daughter, yes. Yes. What does she use for cooking? You said seed oils? Uh, yeah, it's only the seed oils that we use. Does she consume? Oh, they, they use. Okay. Yeah. So when you say they, it means you're not living with them. It's, no, it's uh, because I'm carnival. I'm only eating uh, with a butter. My so, only only my food with a butter. But the mother and the daughter they are eating together. So why would you why would you opt to do different things? Yet you are the leader of the family. <laughs> you dog, I've, I'm fighting this battle. But uh, why would you think you'd think fight? I, because of for them to also use the butter but they prefer the oil although it is not healthy for them i explain them over and over in this thing okay okay now uh since your daughter and your wife is, are using seed oils and you know it's not healthy and now she has a condition what do you tell her about the condition and about changing her cooking oils no after this life tonight or oh, why during this life I was thinking by myself I had to convince them. Mm, okay, and does she consume any wheat products? The cakes, the the uh, the bread, the spaghetti, and all those processed foods. Yes. Does she consume rice? No, not really. How about milk? Not really, not really, it's because she's not a coffee drinker. Mm. What is her favorite uh, uh, fruit? Yeah. Does she consume she, fruits? She's not not the real it's now and then, now and then. How many meals does she do in a day? Uh, two. Two meals? Yes. What time and what time? Uh because she's on the college it's, it's maybe by two o'clock and then by seven o'clock. Did you did you know that hair is part of the skin? No, 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 Doc. Hair is part of the skin, and that's why fixing the gut is very important in her getting back her hair. Is she is she no. on any contraceptive? No. How no. do you know? Because she's staying with me. But staying with you does not mean you know if she is on any contraceptive method. How would you know if she injected? No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 that, that one, I'm, uh, we are strict, very strict on that one. 
How can you be strict on the contraceptive use but not be strict on the cooking oil? Which one is the easiest no, one? What? The cooking oil. It is the easiest but one. What right? I'm saying is, this is, is, is more like a child is in um, adult. Let me put it this way, because even she's sleeping with us in one room. <laughs> So, um, but you don't go to college with her, do you? No. Amazing. Now, do this. Uh, I think the best uh, thing will be we have a conversation with you and your daughter, and that can only happen on an online consultation. That will be easier for you. And actually, I think I should have a conversation with your daughter instead of you because there are a lot of things that teenagers will keep from you, even though you think you have the control. There are things that you will not have control over. And sometimes they open up to the doctors on these things, and you will never understand it. So, uh, I believe you are a good father and you want the best for your daughter. But at least, before, yes, you, before, no, you get, no. before, before you get that online consultation with us, simply start by changing their cooking oil, including your wife. Because if you are a man, you will understand that the bills and the healthcare bills that are coming with your wife, you are the one who will pay for them. So, therefore, lead from the front. Lead from the front. Okay. As you use the butter, let them use butter or ghee or animal fats. Don't compromise about that. At least start from there, and then we can find a way forward through the consultations, okay? Okay, no, no, it's fine, though. Amazing. Thank you, thank I'll you, sir. Definitely, I'll definitely do that. Oh, Thanks sir. a lot, though. You're welcome, sir. Uh, it was a good one. Ah, this guy, this guy sounds like a genuine person, right? He's a genuine person, and he wants the best uh, for the daughter. Uh, but again, uh, sometimes uh, nice people, when, when you hear people telling you you're a nice person, uh, it's a very tricky move. Okay, so yeah, you need to understand that nice people don't make it so far. They get to uh, to be punished so many times. And your daughter can actually punish you, sir. So do not, do not over trust it. Okay, hello, Doc. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. So I'd like to give my testimony. I think it's testimonial. It is. Thank you and welcome on board. Thank you. So I came across your first video. Yeah. I think you are talking about... Um, you're not depressed. <laughs> you have a um, messed up gut. Mental health. <laughs> yeah, and I was, I had convinced my mind that I'm so depressed. And yeah. I was, I was just at the middle of looking for something to convince me that, yes, you are depressed. Yeah. And after watching that video, I was like, huh, <laughs> this guy is saying the truth. And I was, <laughs> Like you're basically speaking what I've been doing. So I started by dropping the uh, carbs and the, no, not the carbs, yeah, the wheat and the sugar. Mm -hmm. And then slowly I dropped uh, the seed oils and the simple carbs. Yes. And uh, I think so far from, uh, that was November last year. Yes. Up to now, I've lost 25 kg. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And wow. that's not even now. Uh, okay, I'm not celebrating that more because I was actually having issues with my knee. Yeah. My uh, the, my foot. Yeah. I was experiencing a lot of pain, especially when I'm going up uh, the stairs and um, anytime I'm trying to do any physical activity, basically. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, my health is just at the top. I, I don't even know. I don't. I, it's been a while. I don't even remember the last time I felt depressed. Man, look at and that. And the, <laughs> the funny thing is that, uh, okay, I've tried incorporating my family members, I mean, my sisters and everyone, because we had convinced ourselves that this runs in the gym mm -hmm. and uh, we can't do anything about it. Yeah. So... At the moment, um, okay, they're seeing the results. Mm -hmm. They are not convinced I'm, I'm, I'm losing the weight because of what I'm doing. Yeah. I think maybe I'm doing I've done, is it called bariatric something? Yeah, yeah bariatric surgery and the procedures, yeah. Yes, 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 oh. yes. So uh, I've actually improved and right now I'm getting my identity. I've, I, I've been watching from you through forgiveness and everything and that. Uh, my spiritual life is also getting better. So I'd just like to advise anyone who would like to try. This is just good for you and uh, just do it. And uh, one more thing, we mostly get, uh, especially us ladies, we have an issue with identity. Yep. Because we normally get the emotional side from our mothers. Yep. And uh, we don't want to see beyond that. 
Amazing. Now listen to so that. So I've had to go through a lot of uh, learning and relearning and unlearn. Yes. And at the moment, I'm, I can say I'm in the process of getting my identity. And I, I don't know what I can say. I really appreciate and um, Amazing. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll be sharing more as we continue. Amazing. Now listen to me. Listen to me. And yes. one more thing. Yes, continue. <laughs> One uh, okay, one last thing yeah. is that um I was always so sad and so negative and everything. And nowadays I'm so, I'm so I'm always happy. I can't tell it, and I'm always so fearless. I don't feel inferior like I used to feel before. Yeah. Like I just feel like life is good. Like it's I'm I'm always having that positive energy. You get? Yes. And you don't you don't yeah. need, you don't need to explain it because you're actually portraying it and we can actually we can easily feel it. We feel it because that's how it connects. Oh. Whatever you portray from within, you wow. get to attract from without. Mm-hmm. Now wow. li- listen wow. to this. Thank listen you. to this. One, we celebrate you. Mm-hmm. And actually I'm glad that this is the last caller. Thank you. We celebrate you. We, we actually appreciate that you came in and shared this story. Now listen, most women don't have an identity totally. They don't mm-hmm. have it. All of us are born with an identity. But along the way, the emotions take over because these are things that our mothers put into us when they are raising us. And it's for their own selfish need to get attention from the fathers. So they try to turn the children against the fathers so that they can actually get their attention. Now, they are doing that as an innocent move. And you, as a lady, at some point, if you don't have an identity, if you don't know God or you don't identify with God, you will easily identify with anything. Okay? So that becomes a sure, problem. Sure, and then yeah. the weird part is when you don't have an identity, you keep on blaming other people, yet you're the one who is tapping their identities all over. Tapping their identities all over. Now the system takes advantage of that in ladies. Nowadays, the system tells ladies you can easily go and compete with men in the field of the men. No problem. Ladies go and compete with the men. In most physical fields, we know very well ladies are not designed to do this physical stuff ladies are not designed to protect men or protect children it's the role of the fathers and the and the men but the society is pushing them to yeah. do this nonsense all through and then these ladies end up suffering and miserable as they grow older and now they become so bitter from within they are wondering my mother used to tell me i need a career to be independent my mother used to tell me i need to be uh, i need to be independent of the man not independent to be good but to be independent of the man yeah. And then you realize, oh, all these things were a lie. All these things were lies. And now you start getting the depression. And guess what? The same, same people who told you you need to be independent of the man are the same, same people who will be holding chance and holding these walks, oh, mental health work, oh, women uh, empowerment work, and they will be doing it. And then at the end of the process, the system will make you believe you're so depressed, you're worthless. And because you don't have an identity, you'll always be believing that nonsense. As it sinks inside you, yeah, you yeah. start believing it and you become. Anything that you believe, you become. And now when you believe you are depressed, of course, you are now so depressed. Guess what they will do? They will not tell you to go out and enjoy the sun. They will not tell you to go out and have different people actually talking most, most things, most positive energy to you. They will not tell you to go and tell your mother, hey, enough of this, I need my identity. They will not tell you to fix your relationship with your father. No. What they will tell you is, don't worry, we are with you on this journey. That's why we are doing this work for you, the depression work. They will wear t-shirts that are written on, mental health is a problem, it needs attention. They will put it in the media and hold interviews. And they will say, they will make you believe it even more. And the end of it all, they will tell you, you need to seek advice from a, a psychiatrist or a doctor. And the end result will be a prescription of antidepressants that will lead you into an early grave. Now, you'll take those antidepressants thinking that they are supposed to get you off your depressed, your depressive state. And what guess what are the side effects? Suicidal thoughts. So now you pop acetalopram tablets in the morning. In the evening, you're having insomnia. So imagine somebody who is depressed with insomnia. And now all that is coming into your head is just you thinking about depression and thinking about death and all that and suicidal thoughts. And at some point, you pick a rope and you tie around your neck and you want to kill yourself. You're thinking that you're still depressed. And yet, those are the side effects of that drug. And when you die of depression, the same same people will come with placards. And they are saying, oh, depression will one day die. It will one day die. Look at them doing to, uh, what they are doing to our children. Giving them hormonal therapy to change their agendas and their sex. They are confusing us with all this nonsense. And then, because they don't have an, they don't have an identity. 
And then they want you to adapt their bad identity. It comes here, it destroys our younger children. Look at those people who are in the LGXYZ, L- whatever it is. Children from the earliest age of 19 to 25, by the time they're realizing this is a cult, this, this is crazy, they are getting into their 30s. And now, all those potential men that would have picked them up when they were 21, 22, 23, 25, are now looking for their younger versions. And now these same same women who brought this idea to you, they start telling you, oh, men who choose the younger women are actually unable to stand a mature woman. They cannot stand a mature woman. Now they're actually brainwashing you to think, to actually fi- to, to join their camp. Okay, because of lack of an identity. When you have that identity, what it comes with is perfect peace. That is the peace that you'll never find anywhere. It comes from above. When you get the perfect peace, whatever you portray from within, you will even attract people who have the same vibrance. But as long as you're fat and depressed, sitting in a corner, waiting for somebody to come and salvage your situation, you will attract more depressed people to make you more depressed. Because life is about just just deflecting energies. Any negative energy that comes and finds you portraying positive energy disappears. No matter what they tell you, that things go where other things are. If you have money, money will come to you. If you have, if you are poor, poverty will chase you all the time. And the only thing you'll do is blame the rich for your problems. You're thinking they are rich, that's why I'm poor. That mindset is a very bad mindset. The, I am depressed because I lost a job. Find another or create a job. I am depressed because I was left by a boyfriend. So from within you, you you had a void inside you. And you thought a boyfriend is coming in to fix that void, to fill that void. So you're actually attracting somebody for your own selfish interests. And this guy comes and steps on your ego as crazy because all you have is ego and ego is evil. So he comes in and rubs the ego into yourself. And now everything that is happening into your life is just crazy problems, problems, depression, depression. And you will die. And when you die, we will be here using you as an example. We will tell you, we told you to eat meat. Depression is coming from lack of hormones that are actually coming from red meat. So we told you to eat meat. We told you to fix to fix your gut because when you fix the gut, the mindset is fixed, the brain is fixed, your spiritual world starts to make sense. But you want the longer route. You want to go for the antidepressants and then you want to come and on live like this and tell us how you are depressed and these are the antidepressants that you are taking. And guys, you know what? You should take antidepressants. When you're depressed, talk to somebody. Talking to somebody will not change your identity. You have to talk to your mother and your father to change their identity. But talking to me, I will actually use that against you. I'm looking at you and saying, this one, I have always wanted a fat lady. This one is coming here with depression. I'm going to exercise my ego on her. And I take advantage of you. And when I leave, I leave you more depressed. So I am so happy and I'm so glad that you came here. Thank you so much for stepping up. Thank you so much for changing your life for the better. Understand that your journey is a solo journey. Most of your family members are stuck in their hell and they love it. Let them be there. You've already showed them the way they have refused. One day they will, come, they will come and they will start asking you half-heartedly. You see now they are thinking you've done a bariatric surgery. Imagine that. These are people who have seen you fixing yourself. And they are thinking, ah, this one maybe <laughs> went behind our backs and did a bariatric surgery. They can't believe it. They can't believe it. So do not fix them. Everybody will have to fix themselves, okay? Yeah. yeah. And thank you so much for coming through. I am um, so happy. Just a minute. Yes. Just a minute. I would also like to mention that, although I'm not going to talk much about this, but I'm also a medical representative. Amazing. So um, it, it was a bit, <laughs> it was a bit tough to switch. Considering I had all the samples in my house, so anytime I had an allergy, the, <laughs> the Montelluca samples are always there. Yes. Every time I need an antibiotic, I have a sample. So it was just like I have a community pharmacy where I self-diagnose and treat myself. Yes. And um, it's also a big issue. I'm not going to talk about that because, of course, that's what I do. Mm, I know, I know. Let me leave that on its own. But maybe before, just, just before I, you, I drop, yeah. uh, I'm just going to tell maybe the ladies who are, are, are struggling a lot with this. Yeah. Uh, please first get your identity as Doc has advised, mostly from your parents. Your your mother is not who you've been, okay, who you think she is, because they most definitely have taken the, your identity from her. You don't have an identity. Perfect. So first of all, get your identity. 
um make sure you fix your diet just follow the all the guidelines also fix your spiritual life mm-hmm. uh, grounding has been of help to me yep. a lot yep so you'll get to fix your 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 your, your, your spiritual life you'll connect to god within you yeah and uh, with time you'll just find that things are working out you're feeling great you're more energetic you just feel happy and uh, you don't have any fear and uh, nothing seems like I don't have any fear at the moment actually even at work we notice a lot of difference like um you you just know that everything will always work out even if I lose this job this will work out yeah. my relationship is doing well after after all uh, the improvements I'm submitting naturally to my husband and uh, he's really noted a lot of uh, improvements so Just do it. Take this as a sign. <laughs> hey, that you. man. Hey, that man. That is going to be a happy man for the rest of his life. Trust me. Thank you so much and have a good night. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Thank Amazing. Have a good night. Imagine having a woman who knows the basics of God, the order of God. Submits naturally. You don't have to strain. It's not like Tafta Hela yesterday who is always dipping his head between somebody's thighs and nothing is happening. Imagine that. A woman who submits automatically naturally to the masculine frame to a man who understands the word of god and is a provider look at that and you ladies are still thinking oh you know this this was just is a content creator okay <laughs> identity is a beautiful thing it comes with perfect peace most of us don't have the perfect peace we think we have peace because it's our thoughts and that's why we keep on saying oh i've fallen in love with this one oh i've done this you've not fallen in love you are living in your memories the thoughts memories are just thoughts in your head so you're living in your own space you cannot see the bigger picture you are harboring an identity from your mother you don't have an identity so you even fear your mother because you have her inside you you're afraid of her that's why you cannot go and tell her hey i want my own identity If you're on this platform and you thinking you are depressed i'm using those words intentionally you're thinking you're depressed oh hell you you're not depressed they made you believe you're depressed get off your thoughts you're not depressed i mean nobody designed you god did not bring you here to depress you it's because you're thinking your satisfaction is in the external things you're thinking if i get this type of job i'll have the best life you're thinking if i attain a certain level of money i'll have some fun yes you're having fun when you have that money but you don't have the joy and most of you confuse fun with joy did you just feel how she portrays that energy that feminine energy and most of you will tell me oh doc so you don't want women to work she's working she's a medical representative but look at how she's portraying negative that 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 feminine energy submissive energy oh my goodness listen ladies thank you very much for attending this If you've never watched that live that we talked about identity go and look at it keenly just listen to it go there with an open mind you will see what i'm talking about we don't have joy we don't have perfect peace we think we do because we are finding solace in that salary in that job because we have we having friends around us who massage our egos and we think oh okay i have very good friends i attract good friends so i'm in a good circle which means your well-being is actually determined by the external environment When you have that in your mind, you're not doing well. Go and find perfect peace. You will fix your spirituality, it will fix your mindset and then the body will just follow.